All right, I'm gonna do a little video and uh, pardon the books. Y'all know I'm big into reading, big into this occult philosophy and stuff like that, so pardon the library. So what we're gonna be dealing with here is my setup. Now, not only that, I just got a GoPro Max. So with this GoPro Max, now I can Change this on my camera right quick. Change this move. There we go. Now with this GoPro Max, what I'm able to do is um basically shoot with my chest mount. So I'm excited about that. Five hundred dollars. I don't know. It was expensive. So we got here the toad fish. I got one toad fish. And the, the reel that I have rod and the reel that I have on it is going to be the Stratic, that Stratic 5000. Now, this toad, this uh, 7.1 foot pole, the Stratic is the perfect balance for it. The weight on it is just second to none. Just got myself another toad, another toad fish inshore series, ride clean. Uh, this ride cleans out coastal waters. It's 7.6. I don't know, probably 7.6 or 7.1, but yeah, top of the line. So I got my second uh, toad. Lint 7.6, medium heavy, fast action. Line 10 to 50 pounds. Top of the line. I fell in love with this, this, this toad so much I had to go get another one. And over here, we're going to get real special. Because what we're dealing with is my two bait casters. Now, there's two more bait casters out there on the market that I may invest into. I didn't want to overdo it with the bait casters. So I did my research in the top few bait casters they had. So I went and got the, the uh, 13 Fishing. This is the Z3 model. This is the saltwater one. This is a bad polling reel. The uh, the Defy Black is also the 13 fishing pole that goes with it. So I got the pole that go with it. And look at how big this handle is on it. I'm having issues with it because I took the screw out doing some stuff. I went to replace it with the power arm. And I didn't have a proper power arm. So being a rookie, I ended up like messing my screw up with this or that. But it still get busy. So I need to go to the actual company and buy another uh, handle, uh, preferably the uh, the power on. But I heard people had issues with the power on. I've already caught fish with this already. I caught redfish, sheep heads. This thing is amazing. It drags the fish to the boat. You haven't had any problems with it, right? So this is 13 fish in Z3. This is $290. Yeah, $290 reel. And over here, I got the Pacific, the Pacific Alios, uh, uh, Alios, Alios, you can pronounce it how you want. But that when I did the research on bait casters, no backlash, top of the line bait casters, this Pacific Alios came up. This is a, this was $105, but beautiful. I think I've cast this maybe a hundred times, burden this maybe one time. I burned this really real uh, pretty bad last week, so I had to go back and change the line on it. Um, I haven't had any bird nests so far on maybe one. So I'm a big fan of the open face uh rising reels. Real big fan of the open face rising reels. But there are times like where I fish in the lake, you want to deal with this to, to get on top of them speckle trout and put a hurt in those speckle trout. So there's also a dawa like this. They got a cold blooded dawa out there. It's like maybe 200 bucks. 250 bucks. I'm thinking about going to get the Dawa. So I had a Concept Z3. I had a 13 fishing, the Pacific, the Pacific Alios, and I had a Dawa. So I get the three best saltwater rods. They're probably going to have some other stuff, but open face wise, this is my babies right here. When a big fish running, when he acting crazy, I can, it's nothing for me to swap over because I fish bottom, 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 and I keep one of these set up to fish. To fish the top of the water. I, I might have one of these set up with a caulk on it. And also I got my. My. GoPro Hero. 
Now he wrote the GoPro Max. This is the expensive GoPro. You see that word Max on there? You see that word Max, not Max Keller. So we got the GoPro. So my setup so far, I'm excited about them. I can't wait to get back on the water. It's been raining in New Orleans. And uh, y'all know I got the, the sea dude. So this is my, my full pose. This is my setup on my sea dude. And we're rocking and rolling. I should.